I know what I'm saying. I know what I sense from my spirit. I tell you, there are people here where you are is not the mantle of your destiny has been searching for you. You are a prophet. What are you doing in the farm? You are a kingdom financier. What are you doing around? I stand again by the God of my covenant and I declare be relocated to the place of destiny. And anyone deceiving you and wasting your time and wasting your destiny, I clear them out of your life. Esther was ordained to be queen, but she was in Shushan. Ruth was ordained to be part of the lineage of Jesus, but she was somewhere experiencing a curse. Peter was a fisherman, whereas his destiny was an apostle. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. You have to discern when seasons come to an end and when other seasons start. The Bible says, talking about the sons of Issachar, he said they had understanding of the times. And so I just want to pray because, uh, keep standing please. There are four things that happen in the life of any man that begin to indicate that certain seasons are coming to an end and then that others are beginning. Number one, there will be an unusual urge to pray an unusual grace for prayer it's good to always be prayerful but when you are stepping into very defining moments there is an unusual urge to pray you'll just find out that you almost don't want to be in the midst of people you want to be alone this is a very ancient principle i have been teaching for a long time just help those under the anointing an unusual urge to pray number two there will be an unusual urge to give at that point when seasons are about to change in your life you can give almost anything anything at all an unusual urge to give nothing seems to make sense to you again number three there will be an unusual sometimes inexplainable attack from the kingdom of darkness it's like a season where everything just begins to fight you pay attention everything just begins to fight you your job your spouse your family for no known reason The agitations from hell because you see satan is not satan is not omniscient he does not know all things so he uses angelic activities to suspect why are angels suddenly moving around a family he knows that angelic activities only happen at the instance of the word he does not need to know the details the moment he sees angels ascending and descending he knows that the word of god has been sent towards that life and so he will come to find out what is going on hallelujah this is very important and the final sign is that god orchestrates a prophetic encounter for you because you see prophecy is very powerful it can announce seasons it can bring seasons to end hallelujah let me repeat myself an unusual urge to pray an unusual urge to give demonic attacks suddenly around your life and then an encounter with the prophetic these are biblical signs there are some of you i just described you by this exhortation therefore i decree and declare anyone here who has come to the end of a season 
I call upon my God, the God of my covenant. I push you to a new season. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please help those under the anointing. I push you to a new season. New financial seasons. New spiritual seasons. There are some of you in ministry. There are certain graces you did not carry before. But God is about to be announcing you in new ways. Greater mantles. Greater patakatosh. Kabatekatosh. Kabatekatekata. Karos. Kadila. Katosh. Kabatekatia. New anointings. By the Kaposh. Kadila. Kata. By the Spirit of God. Lord, I stand by this road and I shift you. Step into new seasons. Step into new dimensions. Step into new seasons. Climb that ladder in destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Step into new seasons. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, this is the season you will encounter the mantle of your destiny. Until now, you are Elisha, but you have been a farmer. Whereas in destiny, you are a prophet. I relocate you by the mantle of your destiny. Anywhere you are operating now that is not consistent, inside, outside, I stretch my hands. I call upon the God of my covenant. Step into those mantles. Find the mantle for your destiny. Find the mantle for your destiny. Please make sure you are praying. Don't waste your time. You came here for an encounter. I know what I'm saying. I know what I sense from my spirit. I tell you there are people here. Where you are is not the mantle of your destiny has been searching for you. You are a prophet. What are you doing in the farm? You are a kingdom financier. What are you doing around? I stand again by the God of my covenant and I declare be relocated to the place of destiny. And anyone deceiving you and wasting your time and wasting your destiny, I clear them out of your life. Esther was ordained to be queen but she was in Shushan. Ruth was ordained to be part of the lineage of Jesus but she was somewhere experiencing a curse. Peter was a fisherman whereas his destiny was an apostle. Pray in one minute. Align me, O oh God, to the place of my relevance, the place of my destiny. I'm tired of escorting others. I'm tired of wondering what to do with my life. Your assignment is as important. Listen to me. Your assignment, if you do not locate the place of destiny, you will keep escorting others. You will get angry. You will get offended. Your breakthrough, your, your celebration, your relevance is in that place of your assignment. Pray. Father, tonight. It says, Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. It has been written of you. Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. 
Emmanuel, when you come again, Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face, Emmanuel, when you come again. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. Lo, I come in the volume of the book as it is written of me. O oh, Esther, your season has come. O oh, Ruth, your season has come. O oh, Peter, your season has come. Oh John, your season has come. Elijah, your season has come. Oh, my season has come. Oh, my season has come. Ah. Oh, Your season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh, your season has come. Oh, Hallelujah. I'm seeing a grace for prophetic psalmistry. There are many of you, you have been called into this a dimension of the prophetic psalmistry. Songs you did not write coming from heaven. I stretch my hands. Lord, where are they? Inside and outside. Songs that become ladders for the end time. Ladders into the throne room. Ladders for encounters. I declare may that grace, may that man to rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, psalmistry by the Spirit, the Davidic order of worship, take that grace now, in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not wasting your time. You came to church. Just pray in the spirit for one minute. Undivided spiritual attention. This is for kingdom come. This is for my destiny. This is for all connected to this grace. Hela baka reka toshko to brande gada leketa Shkebe reka te baka ta prosko to koto baka te leketa Shime kate letashko to brando koto badiata Number two I want to pray There are spirits that stand at the gates of new seasons And don't allow people cross I tell you this There are spirits that stand at the corridors of your next season financial seasons spiritual seasons kairos moments it takes the power of the holy spirit to uproot these devils out of your way it says say unto god 
how terrible are thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves i decree and declare every covenant and any ordinance of darkness stopping men from stepping into their seasons i come by fire and in the name of jesus christ i declare those altars are destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them please every spiritual pattern that wants you to repeat what you happened to your father repeat what happened to your mother tying you to the experiences of your territory i come by the road of the higher priesthood i decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be liberated now we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.